Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome to the start of a new adventure. Welcome to Digimobs 1.16.5, a little survival series that, well, I don't know how long it's going to be. I have no idea exactly how much there is in this and how much there is to do and whatnot. What the feck is... Why? How carrots do I look? I was wondering what the feck was going on there. It must be... Oh, yeah, it's probably from a different mod. Whatever. Anyway, yeah. So, I put together a mod pack. I took the Digimobs mod. We've thrown it on a little server. So, you know, if other people fancy joining us, we can have them on and have them join us. And, yeah, basically, we're going to go and explore the Digimobs mod and we'll put 16.5 a bit more thoroughly than that little one-off video we did. Because the one-off video, it, yeah, it sparked me interest again. Like, the first time I played the mod, it had lingering, you know, bits. Now a lot of features and stuff weren't in. Da -da -da. This... Uh, the one we played last time, though, just the other day, it, it had more stuff going on with it. It had way more Digimon in the world now and things. It's got some stuff that's it's completely new, so we'll put 16.5, along with some nice-looking bit menu bits and stuff. So, I mean, yeah, it sparked my interest again. I'm, I'm playing I'm playing Digibobs. We're going for an adventure. Now, that said, I have made a couple of little changes here and there. And bits and pieces. I've learned some bits and pieces. Bit, oh, I've learned some information from the comment section. Basically, one being travelers, they don't do anything. They 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 are just here. They they just exist. They're apparently not part of anything. Uh, Agumon's armor vendor, that's a proper thing. That's better by there. Uh, the Spyro Digimon that we kept randomly seeing. Apparently, uh, you lot shouldn't exist. However, uh, uh, the Spyro Digimon we saw was apparently a a visual bug thing that wasn't meant to be happening. So that was a thing. And, uh, yeah, I learned a couple more things, like, for example, Taming Well Digimon is possible. I never noticed the heart, but apparently I just hadn't fed that core when enough bread. Cool. The mod should be fully playable in survival mode. Awesome. There's apparently another little menu thing I could have accessed that I didn't, I completely missed. Da dun And I went and looked in the config. There's quite a bit going on in there. But the most, de uh, basic default -y things at the very top. We can alter the how quickly did you want age up. We can alter... Uh, how quick the experience growth and stuff is. So, you know, stuff that was in the last variation of Digimon, which is good, because that means you can speed up some of the grindier aspects of Digimobs if you want to. Uh, but also there's an option to disable passive and aggressive mobs. Now, I thought when it said passive mobs, it was going to mean things like the villagers and the animals and stuff, but and I, I thought I'd set them to not spawn. But I'm now seeing, like, pigs and stuff, so I'm now wondering if, like... what. I feel that I've not set the config correctly and it changed back or <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at the config right now disable passive vanilla mobs I thought that was you lot Ah, oh, whatever. I'm sure I'll be fine. Basically, it should mean at night time We shouldn't have to deal with zombies and stuff, which is what my hope is because I mean I, I could also use bad mobs to create them if I really need to a uh, push but um yeah, I just I just don't want to deal with like fighting zombies and skeletons and doing actual Minecraft survival stuff because I'm wanting to play Digimobs. <laughs> so that's the thing. Oh yeah, look at the config. Uh, there is actually a thing set so you can pretty much disable or manipulate the spawn rate of every individual Digimon. Now, that's a lot. There's a lot of Digimon in there as it turns out. I I, I scrolled. There's a lot of names in there. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's that's, that's an interesting uh, bit for the config for people that really want to go in depth with the world and you know change how it works. Maybe they want very particular. Did you want to be more prominent and stuff because they want to set a certain tone or theme or blah 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 blah. Oh yeah. Also, I've got a bit of a mod pack going on here, like having the Tetra mod in so I can upgrade uh, a lot of weapons and tools and stuff. That's mostly just to speed up that aspect. That things like wall jumping and bits. Just general mods. I, uh, mods I normally shove in. For a mod pack, nothing too extreme. I would appreciate a uh, mod to give me more clothing options, but you know, that's... Like, Digibobs is exactly a mod I expect clothes from. So I'm like, no, it's, I need to think of a mod from anime that does give me clothes that I would like to wear, but won't add anything into the world that will threaten, you know, the balance of the Digimon. Right, luckily this world has started next to a village. That gives me quick access to some food. So I'm pretty much set on that regard now. Uh, and I can make a very basic tool if I need to. To get some stuff going. Right, should we grab ourselves a Digimon and probably sleep for the night? Now, this is something that was mentioned to me in the comment section. So, I did the whole begin thing where I did the big survey thing, which... I don't know if it's as long as it used to be, but, you know, it's pretty long. It's a lot of questions. It is interesting, though. Like, it's, it's kind of the same idea as the uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon thing, which I enjoy. It's just a bit longer. <laughs> which, uh, yeah, it is, it is for you. And how much you want to take into it. But, yeah, there's also... Wait, is that you? Which I don't think I even noticed last thing, so I was that busy looking at that. And it's like, uh... Oh! Wait, what? 
Oh my god! The fuck? The bar? Hello? So, like, the mod maker mentioned about that option. I, I didn't really notice it before. Oh. Oh. I got a Gilmon. It's a, it's a fancy looking Gilmon as well. It's a... Uh... <laughs> oh, I don't know how I feel to react to this. Oh my god, I'm just... Oh, da -ba -da -ba. So, for those who don't know, Gilmon's like my favourite Digimon. So, um, yes, this has worked out very nicely for me. I wasn't sure what to expect when I clicked that. I didn't know if it was going to... like my In my brain, after I saw uh, that option got mentioned to me, I thought it was just going to be a thing of it would give you an option of like a like default Digimon that like just everyone could pick. No, no. Apparently, it's apparently apparently it gives me Gil one. Oh, the best boy is here. I'll 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 so I need to sell the controls not to be correct actually because I did not have them set. Um, yeah, next command. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Gil one, you're coming with me. Actually, first I want to put you in here. Sinking V pet for use. Now in V pet. Excellent. Come on, come on, come on, mate. Go back, go back in the V pet for a second. I need to. That's better. There we go. <laughs> that worried me for a second. I thought I'd broke him already. Oh, he's so small. Hello. <laughs> oh, this adventure's off to a fantastic start. I've already got my favourite Digimon. Which I mean, to be fair, if I hadn't gotten him, like my plan was going to be to go look for him, and I've got like some kind of exotic version of him, like. I don't think that's how, I'm pretty sure that's not how he normally looks. Ooh, doo -doo. Okay, uh, what's, what's the stuff you've got going on then? So, Digivolve, but the boom can turn the ground on. Yep, cool. That requires a bunch of stats, bunch of levels. Where'd he go? There he is. Uh, starts. Doo -doo -doo -doo. He likes cooked salmon. Okay. I'm going to have to take up fishing then. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll, I'll do that for my boy. Now, where is that Agobon we saw? There he is. Hello, you. I would like to speak to you. Hello, what can I do for you? Well, you can let me see what armor that you've got. Okay, that's all this stuff. Cool, cool. So, right. Now, that was another thing I was told in the comment section. Apparently, Digimon can get enhanced by, uh, basically giving them weapons and tools and stuff. Actually, I don't know if this... Would this level armor work, or would it have to be iron? I don't know. I mean, basically, I was, I was advised that you should give, uh, like, give a Digimon even just a basic, uh, Minecraft weapon. And that can enhance their strength slightly. So, yeah, okay. Let's... Inventory. Do we? Can I like put any? Okay, you can have that on. Apparently, where are you? Can you stop running around so much? I keep losing track of where you are. Um, I don't know that. It's not affecting the stats any. Also, passive. He's got a vampiric nature. Wait, what? <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, hold on. The other. Another aspect to this, so we're gonna do it really quick. We're gonna put together pickaxe for myself, and we're gonna put together a sword for Gilmon. He can swing this iron sword around and see if it helps him. So, uh, da -da 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 -da. stats, inventory, sword. And yeah, so again, it's not affecting his stats, but I assume it is doing something because it, it went in the slot. So I think, I think it is helping him somewhat, at least a bit, probably. I don't know, I need to have him attack stuff actually and see how, what, uh, what the d difference in effect is actually, which I, uh, yeah, if we can go find some low level Digimon, we could quickly try that. For that though, we're going to pass over to the new day. Why is there a creeper here? No, you're not meant to be here. <laughs> the feg. Okay, okay, okay. Also, hello, bunch of random thingy things. Urgh. I disabled them! I thought I did anyway. I went in the config and I said it's all passive and aggressive mobs do not spawn true. And I also said it's all rookie level Digimon could drop uh, mob stuff. Urgh. Right. I think I've worked that one out. So uh, I think that wasn't so much Digimobs that was uh, having an issue there or anything like that. That was, I believe, a server shenanigans thing of basically I edited the config but the world was there. And da -da -da. Basically I just had to remember the old config and then do a thing like outside the server provider, set the config to read all the way. Oh shit, I think it's saying I've had to do this quite a few times 1.62.5. I don't know what it is. Whenever we're up to that version, the config sometimes I can edit it, and then other times if I edit it, it freaks out. 
creates a brand new, fresh version of it and ignores the edited one. <laughs> uh, but I know how to fix it. It's just one of those things of I hadn't experienced it a little well, so I forgot it might happen. And da -da 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 -da. But anyway, yeah, I think we're working now. I think we're good. Uh, I think... Well, I think they'll still exist for now, but like they might be the only pigs to exist in this entire world. Well, the ones that exist already probably already exist. I don't think regular mobs should spawn. If they do keep spawning, I'll just disable them using bad mobs anyway. But for now, it should be fine. Right, kill one. Should we get out there and like murder some Digimon, perhaps? I mean, we'll start off with a bit of... <gasps> oh my god. So get a couple jumping for joy thing. Hold on. I, need to... <laughs> I must pay attention to your weight. You must not get fat. It does! Oh, the pa -ta -pa. Hey, I wasn't sure. I saw Terry on to that last time. And I was like, ah, oh, it's a little dance thing. Or is it just the Digimons just doing that? Like, is that just a little, like, passive thing they do? No! No, they generally have a little happy dance thing they do when you, when you feed them. Oh, the pa -ta -pa. oh so, okay, let's get away from the village where things are already spawned and see if I can find some wild Digimon because I, oh, I don't need that. I wanted to have Gilmon kill some things. I saw a little Poromon a minute ago, so... They're definitely floating around somewhere. I need them to start spawning. Like right now. Huzzah. There we go. Murder. Wrong button. Murder. I think I'm still used to the controls for the old Digimon. Also, I need to start remembering typings and stuff like that again. <laughs> That'll be fun. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba 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 yeah, there's another one. Murder. So yeah, there are all the babies now are free types, so it shouldn't matter against them. I should really kill them, no bother. Wait, how much is it you're doing that? Think about it. Hold on. Where's there a Where's there our baby Digimon? We can quickly, utterly annihilate. Nope, 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 don't do that. <laughs> I just had them pick a fight with the Argon out of curiosity, and then I just looked at them like, oh yeah, wait, he's a vaccine type, and I'm a virus. Yeah, don't do that. That'll get you killed. Holy fuck. Right, Gilmon, over this way, friend. We're going to go fight this little Digimon that's way more manageable. Um, Yeah, there we go. Gilmon. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I was so confused. How much damage are you doing? I don't know, because the grass is in the way. Fuck. What the bugger is that? I mean, it's some type of, like, vendor or salesperson. What the fuck? It's a cat. Never mind. Why are you? Oh, you're a weapon vendor. Oh, cool. I would come save you, you understand, but I have no currency currently, so there's very little point. Uh, duh. I'm seeing, like, 20-something odd damage at a time. But it's like... I think I was a crit. Yeah, I was a crit that time. 16? Seen 16 damage? Okay, I just want, I, I just wanted off as an increase because of the sword. <laughs> 12 that time. Yeah, I think it ranges a bit though. Oh no, actually my stats just went down. Oh. Oh yeah, when we go level 2 our stats decrease. <laughs> For whatever reason. Um. Okay. Do, 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 do. Well... If I keep, I keep trying, I just want, I just want to mathematically work out if the sword, if it is helping or not. Like I was told it would, but like I, I like to see the numbers and see the effect, and then I want to try higher swords and see that stuff. And does that. I, I want to experiment with this. So, Gilman, if you could like bash on the Digimon, but preferably because it's a baby Digimon, don't batter it in tall grass. <laughs> He's gonna batter it in tall grass, which is unfortunate because I can't see the damage half the time because that disappears very quickly. Come on, we're paying attention this time. I, that was a ten there. Okay. It was a 9 that time. Right, I think probably only had 19 health. Wait, where was that bottom one we were looking at? There it is. Yeah, you have 17 health. All right. Is he going to do 10 again? No, we did 15 that time. <laughs> you know what? Let's just assume the sword's helping. We'll just keep giving him good swords and assume it's helping. Maybe I can't mathematically work this out. Wait a minute. Wait, where is... Did I not put just enough items in here? Wait, what? Did I not? There's no way. How, how did I leave that out? Oh, bloody hell. I didn't put it in. <laughs> I missed the mod. I put in journey map and must have accidentally skipped over it. Feck. I need that mod in. I need to. I wanted to check crafting recipe for a thing to help me with damaging and da 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 da. Alright, hold on. Murder. Damage. 15 this time. Go. Cool. Okay. Quickly jumped off the game, back on, put just enough items in. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot that. Uh, and now it's night time. This will quickly let us test and make sure I've got the config set correctly. Cause yes, it yeah I did I did, I did muck it up the first time. Um, oh, Although, yeah again that was just one of those things. That was like I, like I don't know if that's one point sixty point five or it's just my server provider or what. But I, it basically it's a whole thing with if I try to change a config and the server world's on. Sometimes I can re uh, start like I can refresh the world that and the, the configs change sticks and goes. 
And then other times, I think it's particularly with larger mods, so I probably should have expected it since Digimon is such a large mod. Uh, it sometimes doesn't, it just decides, nah, and it creates a fresh one, and it freaks out sometimes because I tried to change a thing, and it's uh, a... So, I, I know the fix for it, it's just it's just one of those things that I need to notice it. <laughs> so, uh, that, would, that would explain why there were mobs and stuff like that. I did change the config. It just never stayed. It's just my server provider generated a new one because an error popped up. So I tried to change it. And blah, 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 blah. It's a whole bunch of shenanigans, server shenanigans. So now technically with that done, I should, in theory, build this underground. And I'm curious if Digi went underground. Like, I know they're above ground. I never went underground last time. I've got the cave mod put in. So if they are underground, it's going to look really cool. Oh god, I need to remember though, I put my Digi base in slot one. <laughs> oh no. I'm I'm not used to playing Digibobs again. I put my Digibase in slot one, but I always put my pickaxe in slot one. So every time I'm I'm like trying to go to my pickaxe, I'm always gonna click one. Same as I don't know why I don't normally set my controls for a Digimon, but I keep trying to click different buttons. No, I'm used to because I'm not yet obviously like I used to have a different layer. I used to be a thing of I think it was you clicked R on your Digimon to highlight it and it or well. You clicked A button to highlight your Digimon and you clicked a button to execute certain commands. But now it's got the whole system set up on the Digiface. It's slightly different. I don't think I've got my buttons laid at the same way. <laughs> There's some adjustments I must make to make everything, you know, more optimal for myself. <laughs> or I'll just need to just get used to the new way, uh, the new system I have to set up for Digibobs because, you know, I'm used to certain things being in certain positions. Right, so what I'm thinking right now, I mean, I'm getting this stuff just out of instinct, but yeah. I'm thinking right now, get the most basic of supply set up, just so I've got that out of the way. Um... I probably should build a house at some point. Like, I don't have a meat farm to prepare this time. But, you know, I might as well build a house. I, I guess at this point, since I've got Gilmore and he likes cooked salmon, I guess I'll need to do something by water. So I can, like, or have a pond or something. So I can, like, you know, get into fishing. Because that'll be, that'll be my thing <laughs> at this point. I'll be doing a lot of fishing for my boy Gilmore. And, okay, that was just a very little small cave thing. That was not, in fact, a big thing I could go into. To find a big open cave that was just a little small one. Um, God damn it. <laughs> oh, I find a big cave really quick so I can dive a bit deeper. I just want to see if Digimon spawn below the ground. I mean, I'm seeing things like that, but I'm determined that's just a, that's just a sills person that's fell underground because they're silly and they fell and done a whole thing or something, something, something. Or they've just walked down there because they feel like it. Actually, no, looking at the drop here, like I'm, I'm assuming they fell down here. Or they just spawned here. Maybe they just spawned here. Maybe they just decided to spawn underground. <laughs> Because they are technically within the village range, you know? Hello. Now, I'm gonna assume you still work. So I'm still in danger being here right now. But if it does spawn, it's whatever, because it's just a zombie spawner, so it'll be fine. Oh yeah, I put Farmer's Delight in! Oh yeah, that's the one I've not used before. There's like a whole farming mod put in this. I don't know how that's gonna affect things. If at all, I mostly just put it in so we had options for food. <laughs> but, um... Oh yes, that's the mod I've not played with before. I feel like that was that's one of the mods I think is more fitting with Digimon, having like a food based mod, because Digimon like food, so <laughs> you having a farm with Digimon and to me makes sort of sense. Also, Digimon do spawn underground. Huzzah! They spawn underground, but I'm I'm like terrified of letting Gilmon out because I don't know if he's fireproof. <laughs> and I'd feel scared about him being near lava just in case he dies. Oh yeah, wait a minute. I'm doing all of this. I put bloody Tetramod in this. Hold the bus. Oh wait, I forgot I get more wood. <sighs> Back. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, da, 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 da. So if we grab that, we put that like that. We put that there and there. Put that there and there and there. But then we got a hammer. We take that away. We take the hammer. We do, 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 do that. We put that in there. We take the flimsy handle, basic handle. We replace it with a bone. Craft. Cool. Can I now repair it out of iron? Sure, I've got one piece of iron. Da, da. Pickaxe is now slightly better at what it was doing, and I can now repair it. Go! Cool. Like, it's not much better, but it gets the pickaxe going in the right direction for improvement. Which is the main thing. Yeah, I decided that. I felt like that was an argued mod that could be worked with Digimon, because Digimon itself is mostly about the digital adventure, so if you add in, like, little mods to, like, help you with, like, you know, the other stuff in life, to make that a bit more easier, quicker, blah, 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 then, you know, that, that, they seem like fine little additions. Like... It's the same as Pixelmon in a sense. Like, Digimon is obviously a bit more combat based because, like, you can get involved in the fighting. But for the most part, it's just, you know, you chill and you let your Digimon do the work. And you do the whole equation of what Digimon do you send to fight which opponent. And then, and then, and then you know, the stuff with food because you can give your Digimon food. And you can Digivolve them and then get needle uh, items. Da, da, da. But yeah, most of it's not PvP based. So having little nice environment things like 
cooking and uh, things for mining and building and stuff I feel are way more appropriate in Pixel 1 and Digimon. Which is, it's a nice change of pace compared to the usual combat heavy series I go for. Oh god, there's tons of this digitals or everywhere. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to run out of that. <laughs> this is quite common. We're gonna be able to get tons of this quite easily. Uh, gets us, yeah, Digicrow, which gets us the Digibank, the Digipet, and Digizoid. Which is handy because, I mean, the bank, you put that at your base, whatever, and you take one with you, maybe. Uh, that's whatever. The Vpet, that was, wait, actually, what does the bank do? Wait. Wait, what would the bank do? Because I haven't seen an option, is there an option to put Digimon in the bank? I'll have to try that in a bit and see what that does. Uh, but yeah, making more V-Pets is going to be really handy if we get more Digimon by taming or something, something, something. Okay, I made a horrible mistake. I should have gotten more wood before I came down. This is very silly of me. Now I don't know the way out. <laughs> oh no. Um, fair. It's not very often I get lost in caves, but I don't normally come down to caves that, like not equipped with tons and tons of torches, so... Back. Well, I can think of another way out because I keep keeping him toy on for a reason. <laughs> there we go. Gets us out the other way. Right, cool. We're back. Badoom. So, I need to smelt things really quick. I need. I need, I need, I need, I need. I want to make a dummy. I want to attack the dummy with Gilmon so I can, like, test his power. Okay, I've made a slight tactical error. So, you know how I collect all the wheat in the village before? I turned it into bread. <laughs> I need wheat so I can. Make the damn dummy. Oh, this is unfortunate. I, I, I'm several weeks short for this. I need to hope there's at least one more wheat barrel I didn't take. Or I need to hope there's more wheat planted somewhere. Which I think there is. Wait, oh, there's wheat barrels there. Huzzah. There we go. It gives us our dummy. I have no idea what's going to happen if I tell everyone to fight this thing. So we'll find that one out together. Alright. So. Wow, I get relevant. Wait, Agumon? No, not Agumon. Gilmon. Oh, the bomb. I'm not looking at so many Agumons, I'm just thinking of Agumon now. Right, okay. Things, 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 things. Gilmon, out you come, lad. There we go. Right, now. Attack! He is trying. To... <laughs> He's doing two against this thing. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's not quite the same damage. Oh, yeah, that's right. When he, did, when he used to attack Cows Night, he would do two damage. And then when he attacked Digimon, it's different. Okay, let's give me a good chance to quickly test some other things. Can you do a signature attack? No. You do any special attacks? No. Sit. Gilman! Okay, he's just ignoring me now. Get back in there. <laughs> Wait, can I get him to stop attacking if he starts attacking something? Like, hold on. Quick, it's a quick opportunity just to test this stuff really quick. Uh, yeah, attack that. You wanna... And get. Oh, there we go. Right now, stop attacking. But I just something to attack himself. No, don't do that. No, he's still just trying to kill this thing. Okay, enough of that. Boom. Yeah, I think so. Make them stop attacking. Then I can just, I can just drag them back into the um, the V pet. For whatever reason, though, yeah, when he starts attacking, he doesn't want to stop by any means. Like he doesn't, he, he just ignores the idea of coming. To sit down or something, so um, yeah, that's something to pay. That's something to note. I can't just have them stop whenever I feel like it. Also, okay, so I've got the world set then. There should be any regular mobs floating around other than the ones around this village, essentially. So there might not be villages in all the villages, which I'm fine with. I don't care about them. I just care about the stuff they have in their village. So that's a thing. How do I? How do I pick you up again? It's like, oh, there we go. Right, I'll take you with me. I don't know if I'm ever going to need you, but I'll take you with me just in case. But okay, so that's all fine. If I want to get regular goods from uh, mobs, I basically need to kill, I think it's rookie level and higher Digimon. So the prep for that, I need to go into areas that will be rookie Digimon, find ones that are weak to Gilmon, or at least level them up a bit more so that he's able to, like, you know, take them on without too much bother. Also, if I put this in my offhand... <gasps> that makes life easier. Because every time I scroll off of it, I, like... I lose this bar thing if I just keep the digi base in my off hand. Oh, okay, that's helpful. I'm also kind of curious if I gave Gilmon one of these, like, enhanced swords from Tetris, that'll affect some, but I guess that's something we'll figure out a different day. <laughs> For now, it's fine. We'll just continue along our movie. Also means I can put my pickaxe in the right slot again. Yes! Everything's fixed itself. Right, Gilmon, come with me. We're going to go slaughter random little Digimon, like that bottom on there, if I can see it through the tall grass. Go on, Gilmon, murder it. 14 damage. 
Okay, I mean, he's doing 14 to 15 damage per hit. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, then if I... Can I, like... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I can still shift right click him if I want to get uh, information, blah, blah, blah. But that's fine. There were more hillbills in part of the village. Oh, thank God. I mean, I don't need them now, but still, it's handy to know they're there if I ever need more food. Oh, yeah, wait. Go on, before we go far away again, shall we mark this village? <laughs> so I don't fucking just disappear into the wilderness again and not know my way back and da-da-da-da-da. That seems like a good idea. Uh, and our reason for that, though, is also because did you want to get stronger the further away you are from spawn? So it's very handy to know how far away you are from spawn so you can get a rough idea of, like, you know, when did you want to get stronger and da 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 I don't know. It's handy to have a marker. Handy to have a marker or just, just to flatten all the coordinates. <laughs> that helps, too. Right, okay. I don't want to fight you near war. I don't, want, I don't want to try underwater combat yet. So I'm going to save. I'm going to wait until I get water did you want for that. But okay. Also, I just realized as well, I was trying to figure out like attack damage and stuff, but like, did you want to get all different like defenses and things? Like, some did you want all more defensive? It's going to be really hard doing this calculation if that's, you know. <laughs> I'd have to find a lot of did you want around the same level, basically, for it to. for me to easily figure out their stats and things. So that's. Because, like, yeah, against this one, we're doing 10. But if I fight that one over there, which. How much? This one has like, what, 14 or 17 defense or something? There's no guarantee the next one I fight will have the same amount of stats. <laughs> Yeah, this one's 14s and 16s, so I, I don't know, it might be different. Also, Gilman, can you... I mean, yeah, you can Yeah, you can get the water, you can get the water. I was wondering, like, because he's sitting, at, he's sitting at the bottom there. Okay, yeah, he's, he's fine with water combat. I do like little subtle animations. I do like little animations they've got for the fighting a little bits and pieces. Oh, it's a bar. Also, I'm getting into higher level territory, which actually works fine, because Gilman's way stronger than them. So I can I can still murder them, they're still babies. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. I keep clicking F to engage battle. <laughs> oh, I don't know where to just set the command thing for it to F, but I, mean, I know I'm going to get things wrong. I, I can't remember what my old controls used to be is the problem. Like, I really should try and figure out what the old controls were and then go from there. No matter. You know, like, I, eventually I'll just end up adjusting it myself or we'll just we'll just learn the new system. Because, like, we're going to be playing on this newer system anyway from now on rather than the older one, so... Well, probably. Less for some reason I feel like going back to 1.12. Um... So yeah, maybe I'll just have to get used to this new system. Oh yeah, I'm also going to figure out a nice place to live. Um, that's a good question. How deep into Digital World do I want to live? Like, I didn't want to live at Spawn, or by that village. Because I look, I'm just part of the village. No, 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 no. Uh, if I want to live somewhere, it's going to be by water. So I have to find an ocean, or I have to find a river by them, and like, stick around it. So... There are rivers not around here. If I could find an ocean really nearby... I'd probably jump out. There are still fish existing in here. I thought you'd be disabled as well, but apparently not, because, like, the cows now are definitely disabled. Now that I turned passive mobs off. Yeah, the cows now are definitely disabled. Which I'm hoping just leaves more spawning rate chance for the Digimon. Which might be just right, though, remember the case. But yeah, for some reason the fish are still here. <laughs> remember, maybe those fish spawned further up the river. Maybe they spawned that close to the village and just happened to swim up there. I don't know. Actually, wait, there's an easy answer to the whole... Can I find an ocean biome nearby? Oh wait, it's, it's still keep biome. <laughs> ocean! There is one! 373 blocks from here. How deep into the digital world is that? Wait a minute, that's, that's V30, 420. Where are we currently going? Not that way, so it's back to the west. And to the south? Yeah, okay. Southwest we go. West we go, and we're already finding Digimon. That are... Like, on the same kind of level with us. Now, I just let it know, I don't technically have, like, any hues or anything right now. So, I have no way of saving Gilmon if he starts getting really injured. Now, hues do exist. But, killing baby Digimon doesn't seem to be giving me them anymore. Like, because I remember in the old day, like, <laughs> I'm saying the old days. Like, I played the mod, like, this year, but still... Oh, wait, you're a data type. Yes, murder him. Wait. Oh, yeah, when I clicked, when I, oh, wait. I'm still in the mainframe of highlighting the thing and then the then. Oh, feck. Okay, well, I can do the save the fecker is to put him back in the thingy majig. That'll be good. He's doing very little damage to this Coromon. Okay, let's keep an eye on this battle, but yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm so used to, you click R to highlight and then you click button to, uh, thingy, initiate battle, aka I used to have an R and F. 
I can't, as soon as I clicked R on the core one, that instantly initiated the battle, and I was like, <laughs> clicking after that. that. Fucking hell, okay. We are, we do seem to be winning. Me being a higher stage Digimon does not seem to be helping me any, though. <laughs> or maybe it is a little bit, because we are a level lower. But I didn't think the core one's stats were that higher, any higher than ours. Also, please don't fall in the water. No! God damn it. There we go. I'm just going to injure him slightly so now he comes for me. Also, look at them trying to swim. Or Coromon just trying to roll. Right, go on, Gilmon. Get them. Get them. Player physics is making this harder now. <laughs> Used to be easy to push them. Now they count as bigger entities. They're pushing back. Yay, we won. Give me all that. We got a heal thing as well. Huzzah. And tons of XP and bits and things and things and things. Nice. Also, there are indeed fish in the water. <laughs> fish still spawn. Fish are not passive or aggressive mobs. They are the true neutral mobs of Minecraft. Also, also, so something I'm realizing is if we want to initiate battles with Digimon, I can pick a fight with them and do damage to them. As soon as I do damage to them, they seem to prioritize me above my Digimon, like, entirely. That seems very much like a thing you can exploit to fight a stronger Digimon. Because if they're going to target you, you just have to make sure you don't get hit by them. And then your Digimon can pretty much just pound on it as it passes by. And it'll win. <laughs> we probably shouldn't exploit that if that is indeed the case. I need to test that in a few ways and see if, like, they do change focus back to our Digimon eventually. Just to confirm that that is the case. But yeah, no, that is, if, it, if they only target you above everything else to try and kill you. The, you're gonna win, aren't you? Because the Digimon can't catch you most of the time. I mean, they can use their bubble attacks, but like, that, doesn't tend to, that doesn't tend to get you nearly as quick. Wait a minute, is there squids in the water? No, there's fish in the water. Of course there is. Because we need to fish. I mean, that's actually, no, nah, think about it. There are fish in the Digimon world. I mean, they are probably fish-type Digimon, but we're not gonna worry about that little detail. Like... To everyone, like, Golomon just summons an army of fish. Quote, unquote. I... <laughs> yeah, okay, it makes sense that he would still spawn, even if you turn everything off. Plus, you know, we kind of need them to so we can, like, eat. But okay, guess I'm living around this area, then. We need that, or I, like, cross around and see if uh, there's any other biomes that I prefer. But, uh, yeah, I'm sticking by the ocean, so I can... I mean, Alright, for one, I do want to try the underwater and aerial combat. Because that are apparently features in the mod. I do want to try them at some point. So I'm going to try and get a uh, fish-type Digimon and a flying-type Digimon. Just to see how that works, because I'm, I'm interested to see, you know, what it's like. Plus, you know, I'm imagining that may be a feature that may evolve over time as well, uh, if it needs to. I don't, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know if it needs to evolve, but, like, I imagine that could be a feature that could evolve over time. So I'm interested to see where it's at now. Bum -ba -dum. So, yeah, I guess living by the ocean would be good. I guess also knowing where a mountain be would also be good, because I can find probably bird Digimon, because I imagine birds live up in mountains. I mean, I don't just imagine it. I also know that, like, Veomans live up there. Also, there is a fish boy. He's looking very different. <laughs> Yo. You look so different from what you used to. You're getting your shape to you, don't you? Ah, oh, feck. Of course you're the first thing I encounter in the ocean. Oh, well, there's a village nearby. Well, that's interesting. Um, not something I'm going to go to. That's interesting. Okay, I think it's just all savannas and all thingy biomes around here. Cool. I think I'm just going to go back the way I was. Oh, the way I was. Okay, so this area generally is around level 11 rookie levels. So, we're going to have to get Gilmon a bit stronger before we can let him roam around these parts. Because I don't know if Digimon can be naturally aggressive. But, you know, I I don't want to chance that. <laughs> like, Digimon's gone back and forth in that one. There used to be... I can't remember if Digimon were ever just, like, naturally aggressive. Like, ever. Like, I think maybe... I see... I, it's hard to tell because I've been playing this mod for so many years. Like, it's been, like, seven years at this point, near enough. Like, almost exact. Oh, I think it's been more than that. But, like, you know, since I did the first series, it's almost been, exact like, seven years. It's seven, it's seven years in December. But, yeah. I remember living in a forest. And I remember Digimon being aggressive. I also remember to have been infected Digimon that, you know, were aggressive because they were infected. And I remember those Digimon killing other Digimon, including wild ones, and growing stronger from it. And thus, we ended up with, like, level 100 Digimon. Chilling in our area, and uh, that being dangerous. But I also seem to recall like a level twenty-eight like monkey, the green monkey Digimon. I seem to recall him being aggressive, but I can't remember if he was actually you know infected or not. Because I I think that was the Digimon that killed Mitch's Digimon, and then Mitch never played Digimon again. <laughs> he generally raged quit. He raged quit at the entire Digimon franchise. Well, I I. 
He did actually, now I think about it. I don't think, he's ever, I don't think I've ever actually convinced him to come back to this one. Because <laughs> his favorite, I think it was like, uh, was it Gatlemon? I think it was. and it, it just, Or was it Renamon? It was one of the two. And maybe Gatlemon, Mitch is a cat person. Like, or he, like he's got a cat. I don't know. I just, I recall that because I found it hilarious. Same as uh, Zoro uh, overfeeding his Digimon to get number one. And, uh, but Zoro and him when that came back, Mitch and I just, Mitch just hasn't. But I keep trying to get them back. I keep trying to figure out ways to get them back. It is harder because they don't play a lot of just anime Minecraft and that in general nowadays. Like, they just play Minecraft packs and, like, sometimes theme packs and stuff. Bar the bar. And they occasionally play things like Pixelmon and stuff. But, yeah, they don't tend to dip into, like, random anime stuff as much. So, unless they don't end up on Digimobs, but, you know. I could try to get that. Digimobs is a 1.60.5. It's evolved into the latest version of Minecraft. Well... The latest modded version we care about anyway, like, unless you're one of those people that cares about 1.18 for some reason. Yeah, I'm saying all this. I don't expect Mitch to come on. <laughs> I can bet I can never get Mitch to join me in any Minecraft series nowadays. Same with, like, Naya and stuff, but, you know. I will always put the invitation out there. But no, I think in what a more real case is that uh, Naya, Mitch and stuff, or, I mean, Naya, I don't think he's even watched Digimon. But um, in Mitch's case, I think he knows who Digimon is, but he hasn't, like, he hasn't watched it nearly as much as Pokemon. And like myself, when I first started playing the mod, he doesn't understand the system. And I think that just makes it so he doesn't end up playing it as much because he's just, he's not a huge Digimon person to begin with. And then, you know, <laughs> he doesn't know the system. So he just ends up playing like Pokemon. Ah, the bar. Because yeah, I think the same reason goes for Zaro. Zaro will play anime mods, but if he doesn't understand the mod or hasn't watched it, like he hasn't really watched Digimon, then he has a bit of less interest in it. Which is one of those things, like it's just, it's not enough people that I know what have watched Digimon. <laughs> And it saddens me because it was so good. I mean, apparently the new season of it's really good. I haven't watched it, but apparently it's really good, given how often it keeps trending. But yeah, now I'm I'm on the thing of trying to get people on to do like a Digimon series at some point. That's still a goal. I've I've got like a couple of goals when it comes to certain anime mods. <laughs> Getting people to come play Digimon with me is definitely one of them, which I sort of accomplished when I did that one-off. I got like, you know, a couple of people to come on for a one-off. Now I just have to develop that into getting people to do a full series of it. <laughs> Oh, we're, we're, we're going to take steps bit by bit. Also, this area is looking good. I think we'll work, I think we'll live here. A little patch of plains next to the desert. So, you know, I'll go on. And you got a forest over there. Cool. This is probably a good spot as we're going to get. Downside, though, it's level 14 territory. So I'm going to have to, like, walk back at some point. Oh, I love, I love the little pictures we get of the Digimon and the V-Pets. I'm never going to over how cool that looks. <laughs> Especially when you've got a very biased because it's also a good one. Ah, the bar. Right, okay. Now that I've got some stuff set up, I need to start setting everything else up and figure out exactly what I'm gonna do and build a house and all that shenanigans. And then go train Gilmon and stuff. Oh yeah, Digibank too, actually. I want to figure. Like, you're still the same old Digibank from before, but how do you operate? How do you work? What's your... What's your secrets? Okay, there... Oh, wait. <gasps> okay. Oh! That's how it works. You can you can store your Digimon on the VP. Oh, that's so cool! You get little pictures. But yeah, okay. That's a fun way of doing Digimon banks. I like that. That's it's very good. Also means yeah, we need to make more VPets, which is fine because there's tons and tons and tons of um The feck are you doing in there? <laughs> what is this Vecker doing down here? What is he doing in the water? This fecking bird. It's everywhere. It's everywhere and it keeps showing up in like low le lower level territories. But okay, I think for today, just for starting for this little series, I'm going to end things there. So thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the start of our little adventure. So yeah, playing Digimobs. And I'm excited this is a whole new world. In a sense, a whole new mechanic things to learn and things to get used to. So let's see if we can figure out some tricks for playing this and how we can get everything going and... What things we can do with the Digimon and Bumper Demons. There's a whole whole world of things to look at and figure out. I'm very excited for it. But yeah, it's been a while since I played Digimon as well for a full series in like a fresh way. Because, you know, we did that big long series of 1.12 and that was like a lot of fun. But after that we played after that, it was like, it was, the mod wasn't really updating after that point. So it was like, you know, we weren't really getting anything new out of it. We are just playing Digimon because it was fun. Now it's new. Now it's 1.16 with a bunch of updates I haven't like seen things of. So, ah. Oh. I have to look forward to. But also, yeah, playing on the server, I'll ask other people if they want to join. I don't expect people to join the Minecraft series at this point because, like, people are busy and have their own interests, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, I'll still put this thing out there. Maybe we can convince a person or two to 
come join us. Maybe Demon, for example, he's been looking for Minecraft series to do so. We can have some companions to help us, then we can also try the PvP out and see how that goes. I can't see that ending in bloodshed. <laughs> but right, anyway. Those two Digimon fighting are like, it looked like that V-Mom was like uh, chasing after that other Digimon to fight with them there. Oh, I love the running animations as well. I just saw V-Mom. Right now, we're getting distracted. Thank you very much for watching. See you all next time for some more of our Digimon adventures. Also, oh yeah, if you want to leave any comments on like, did you know I should go get it? Any goals I should have? Blah, blah, blah. Feel free to down below and we'll see. We'll see what we end up saying we want to do going forward. But yeah, anyway, see you the next time for Digimobs. Thank you all for watching. Go! Bye, everybody. Da, 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 da. Also, just want to say a quick thank you to all of the channel members for the extra support and a special thank you and shout out to our late members, the Johnny members, Sebastian Ramsey, Alexander01. And Isaac Washington and our Anbu member Monster Q. Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. Butter, butter, butter.